Hello mga Cheskans, mga anak! Welcome to Outside the Cusina! We went on a recent trip to Boston. When you're in Boston, it's a must to have their clam chowder and a taste of cannoli. So come and join me! Let's go try them! When you walk the Freedom Trail, make sure you go to Quincy Market. This is where you can find Boston chowder. We chose to share a large cup of clown chowder and it's about US $10 for the whole cup. You can see the oyster crackers that you can add on to it. I believe they're just saltine crackers but they call it oyster crackers. Once you mix it in with the soup or the chowder, then you can see that it is creamy. But yes, you can see I'm tasting it. <laughs> really tastes really good. There's a lot of clams in it, and the potatoes are just the right softness we found the seat on the second level of Quincy market and you can see the ceiling is very nice and beautiful when you continue on the freedom trail make sure to make a stop at the north end this is known as Boston's Little Italy and we found Mike's pastry known for its cannoli they also sell a lot of other pastries, but we ordered the classic ricotta cannoli. Okay. Here's Lolo Ni Bella unboxing our cannoli. They tie it with string and put it in a cardboard box. Mm. There's often a line here and we were lucky that we were able to get our cannoli really fast. If we get a chance, I would also like to go over to Modern Pastry and try their cannoli version. There's so much food to taste in this place, I would suggest sharing. The shell is nice and crunchy and the filling is not that sweet. I heard that compared to Modern Pastry, this cannoli is larger. I think Grogu agrees and he wants his own cannoli. If you enjoyed this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.